Inflation data has been released today, and it seems the markets are acting very positive. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it. So the new data from the Commerce Department shows that the personal consumption expenditures, which is known as the PCE index, rose 4.2% for the 12 months ending in March. Now that's down from an upwardly revised 5.1% in February, indicating that the central bank's massive rate hike campaign is taking hold so the core pc index which excludes food and energy components also trending down slightly with a growth rate of 4.6 percent for the year compared to 4.7 percent in february additionally consumer spending remained flat in march falling short of expectations for a decline of 0.1 percent so with this data here it shows that the fed is expected to raise its key short-term interest rate by another quarter percentage point next week to curtail inflation then pause as they assess the effects of the rapid increases on the economy and prices it seems the federal reserve is right now just poking the bear slightly trying to lower the inflation as much as they can without devastating the economy but it's going to come to a point where it is quite too late in order to reverse the effects and if they continue to raise interest rates they're going to truly see a huge hike in unemployment which is going to falter on the economy so if we take a look at this data here the consumer spending and income for march we can see personal income has gone up 0.3 percent versus the 0.2 percent expected for the prior month so 0.3 percent more raises have been happening maybe you have gotten a raise at your job that's having a direct correlation on this data personal spending has not moved at all and real personal spending has not moved at all we were expecting it to drop and analysts with this expectations exceeded causing the markets to react in a very positive way so we also have some data here that has come out regarding chevron and exxon mobil so we're going to start with exxon mobil and they have reported a first quarter profit of 11.43 billion dollars which is more than double a year ago as rising oil and gas output compensated for a pullback in energy prices from high levels now the profit exceeded wall street estimates and was boosted by strong production growth driven by new volumes of crude oil and fuels from the startup of new offshore developments and refining facilities. Now, Exxon's rival Chevron also beat market expectations as profits nudged higher in the first quarter, with earnings from refining compensating for slides in energy prices and production. This is great. Rival Chevron beat the forecast with a record of 6.57 billion dollars in profits and if we go ahead and take a look at the charts we can see that chevron which is this chart here on the top left ended up opening at 167 dollars it is actually down six cents hovering hitting a high of 167 dollars and 85 cents in the pre-market so it seems some juice is going to gain into chevron and this is going to affect overall gas prices as time goes on because there's some projects that have come out now first let's take a look at some exxon price charts as you can see it opened at 118 dollars and 97 cents and hit a high of 118 and 98 cents not much movement there surprisingly with these great earning expectations it seems people are buying the news or buying the rumor and selling the news and what does that mean we're seeing massive sell-offs and profits taking after this earning for the spy index here we saw open up 411 and is actually sitting at 412 extremely healthy and for the dow jones as well so let's talk about some projects that these gas companies specifically chevron had now it's a project called the mad dog phase two 
and they have achieved their first oil in the Gulf of Mexico. So it's a project to extend the existing BP operated Mad Dog offshore oil and gas fields located in the Grand Canyon area of the Gulf of Mexico. So south of New Orleans, the project involves the drilling of 29 wells and the construction of a semi-submersible floating production platform with a production capacity of up to 140,000 barrels of crude oil per day. The cost of the project was estimated to be around $22 billion, but was later reduced to $9 billion, which is going to save the company huge amounts of money and they're expected to have much higher earnings in the upcoming quarter so it is a good mid to long term swing trade opportunity for this oil company and this is going to have a very beneficial effect on the overall economy as gas and lower oil prices are seen now if gas and lower oil prices are seen the economy is going to go ahead and reflect that data with the next CPI inflation data, which is the consumer price index that comes out next month. The Fed are going to see this and realize while wow, inflation is dropping and it's going to have a beneficial overall effect on the stocks and cryptocurrency market. So I expect May to be a very bullish month because of this news. If you guys enjoyed this quick little update, be sure to smash that like and subscribe for more news. I'll catch you guys on the next one.